Hey guys, Supercastle of Final Wars here, and today I am back once again with another video. Today, and I want to discuss something. And if you guys remember, last night I mentioned that I didn't like Kong with lightning powers. And I have a very good reason why I do not like Kong with lightning powers. In order to fully understand why I do not like Kong with lightning powers, we have to go all the way back. Like when I mean all the way back, I mean like all the way back. All the way to the first King Kong vs. Godzilla movie back in 1962. Now, when I first watched that movie, I didn't really like it because, well, Godzilla lost. Well, technically, it was never really a win. It was more like a tie, if you think about it. But originally, that film was not supposed to be a King Kong film. But instead, it was supposed to be a Frankenstein versus Godzilla movie. But of course, Toho couldn't get the rights to Frankenstein, so they used King Kong. Now, obviously, Godzilla does nearly kill King Kong in that movie. But the only thing that happens in the movie, and this is something that I've hate, hated, and... One of the characters says, lightning recharges for King Kong. Like, for starters, how in the world can a monkey be recharged by electricity? Godzilla is understandable because he's practically a god. Like, literally, he's practically a god. And let's not forget that in past Godzilla movies, I witnessed lightning recharged Godzilla more than freaking King Kong. Hell, once when that line came up, it was never addressed ever again in other King Kong movies. Like, if lightning does recharge King Kong, then why was it never mentioned in the other past King Kong movies? Like, for example, King Kong Lives, King Kong Escapes, uh, King Kong, uh, freaking, there's a lot of King Kong movies that are just titled King Kong, and even Peter Jackson's King Kong. So, if lightning recharges King Kong, then why was it never addressed ever again? and other King Kong movies. Hmm? Why was it never addressed ever again? And if someone could come up with rather a reason why it was never addressed or just a weird, really, really bad excuse, then I would like to see what they have to say. Now, keep in mind, folks, that I just despise the idea of Monster vs. Kong getting lightning powers. Because, again, we see in past Godzilla movies that it was lightning that makes Godzilla stronger, not King Kong. Plus, how would that make any sense? Godzilla's understandable because he, like, somehow, like, draws electricity towards him. 
Hell, even King Ghidorah's own gravity beams recharge the bastard. Godzilla takes his most, like his arch rival, like his arch nemesis very own attack and like recharges it and like it recharges him. And this was shown in Giant Monsters All Out Attack. And yet, we still get the argument about people wanting King Kong having a lightning powers. Like, I'm sorry, but I did not like that idea at all. I despise that idea. Like it, like it was shown in Godzilla vs. Kong, that Kong did pretty fine on his own without lightning powers. Like I know there are people making fan videos about Kong having lightning powers, but even then, Kong still gets his ass beat by Godzilla. Now, the Beast Glove, since we saw in the trailer that it does emit electricity, that, like a weapon like that, like Kong having a weapon like that, that is understandable, and I'll let that slide. Because, well, for one, his hand is severely injured, so he needs that glove in order to make his hand stronger. Second, I don't mind the electricity that the glove emits. If anything, again, I let that slide. But when it comes to naturally having, like, lightning powers... Like, why was it never addressed in the past King Kong movies? Hell, when the first teaser trailer for Godzilla X Kong The New Empire came out, Everyone immediately thought that Scar King was going to have lightning powers, or even having an atomic breath. Which, that on its own doesn't make sense. Like, I think my friend Space Honor was thought of it, had that same idea too. And yet, for what we see in God's Likes Calling the No Empire trailer 2, it does not look like Scar King has any of those abilities. And that's fine. And the reason why I say this is because these are super intelligent beings that we're talking about here, people. Kong and Scar King are hyper intelligent. They are so intelligent. They have these, like, cool-ass weapons that they can have and use. Plus, they're, they're fast, they're agile. They can use the environment around them as weapons. Isn't that good enough? Like, why do you need both Kong and Scar King to have lightning powers? Plus, if you guys think about it, if Scar King hits Kong with his electricity... Now, wouldn't that just recharge Kong? The same thing goes for Scar King. Wouldn't that just recharge them? Like anything, I find this power both dumb, weird, and confusing for Kong and Scar King to have. And I just prefer ha them having, like, weapons. If anything, having weapons at least can, at least you could stand up to someone with weapons. Like, I see a lot of movies where the main character has to deal, like, a character 
main or a character has to deal with someone who has like godlike powers, and they don't really need other godlike powers in order to beat that person, or at the very least hold their own ground against that person. If anything, they're still fine even without godlike powers. Like, I don't like it. I, I just don't like it. I absolutely do not like the idea of Kong and Scar King having lightning powers. But it's just mostly Kong, because, well, it, Scar King wasn't even around when this whole argument about Kong having lightning powers began. Like, I don't mind the idea... Oh, no. Actually, no, I hate the idea. And I wish that people don't really need it. Like, can stop saying that, oh, Kong needs lightning powers in order to stand up against Godzilla. Lightning recharges Kong. Dude, look at past Godzilla movies, and you can see lightning recharges the freaking wizard more than the goddamn primate. If, if Kong had lightning powers, why were they ever addressed in the first place? If you think about it, it wouldn't make any sense. Hell, even if Kong had lightning powers in the like in the very first King Kong movie, it wouldn't make any sense. It's because I know that they'll probably do a bad job of explaining how can lightning recharge Kong. <sighs> I just don't like it. Now, there are going to be those who are going to be asking, well, what what happens if Kong uses the Beast Glove and the Battle Axe at the same time? Would that emit electricity, or at the very least give Kong natural abilities to use electricity? Well, I don't know. We don't really see Kong wielding both the Axe and the Beast Glove with the same arm. If we do, and if that happens... That would probably be a different story because mostly the the lightning or the electricity itself is coming from the glove. And let's just say somehow that somehow gives Kong natural electricity abilities, then yeah. I don't really know what, what I would say at that moment, but if it does, then I'll be like I still prefer Kong not having lightning powers, honestly. Anyways, that's going to be the end of this video. So I hope you guys liked this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and let me know in the comments below. Do you prefer Kong having lightning powers or no lightning powers? Leave your, your own little... Just let let me know what you what you think in the comments below. And I I know what you guys are gonna be saying. Why do I sound different? I literally just woke up, so yeah. Anyways, hope you guys have a great day and peace out.